and welcome back. I'm Saeed, a DevOps engineer and a certified Kubernetes enthusiast. You can find me right here on this YouTube channel. Follow me on X at Saeed F0 and LinkedIn as Saeed. All of the links will be down below. So we're on question six now and we want to deploy an image policy webhook admission controller to secure the deployments in our cluster. Sweet. So let's get in there. It's telling us to fix the error right off the bat in this configuration file, which will be used by the image policy webhook. So let's take a little look at that. We can go straight into the documentation and actually type image policy webhooks and it should pop up. We'll just keep that there for now. <clears throat> so from the admission configuration file, it's named image policy webhook. And straight away we can see here that there's been a placeholder put in the cube config file. And it's important that we actually provide that because that will be where the config for the, yeah, for the file is. So here we could take this, right? The cube config file has already been created. Let's take a look, a look, a look at that. And that looks good to me. And from the validations, we can see that we need to fix the admission con configuration file. We also need to have an implicit deny policy and we need to enable the image policy webhook on the API server and also add the image policy webhook on the API server. So enable it and also to add it. Cool. So that looks good to me. So if I go back to the admission configuration file, I'll just specify that cube config file. <clears throat> cool. That's fine. And now, oh, if we head back, one of the other points was that it wants an implicit deny. So here we've got default true. We'll set that, sorry, default allow to be false because it we want it to always, um, you know, default to denying that policy. If the webhook service is not reachable, then the configuration file should automatically reject the images. And that's the reason why. Cool. So let's take a quick look at the Cube API server because that's where all of that, the main parts of the config will be. And we head down back here. Uh, it should give us some interesting flags to consider. So we're looking for the flag that is required to be featuring in that admission, sorry, in that API server. There is a flag that I'm looking for. Maybe if I just search it. <clears throat> There you go. So the admission control config file. <clears throat> this is the flag that we need to have featured. But before we do that, let's take a quick little look. Yep. At the, yeah, enable 
enable admission plugin that is set to node restriction at the moment and what we need to add to that is the image policy webhook we've done that <clears throat> Um, we just put that config file to sit right there for us. Um, and once we've set that up and configured that, we need to make sure that the volumes and the volume mounts are there in place. And that is the location Etsy Kubernetes PKI yeah that's already in place cool all looks good so let's take a moment I think it should go down for a moment yep yeah cube API server will go down in a moment Yeah, we'll give that a moment just to launch back up because that Kube API server restarts once it is tampered with. So just give that a moment. Yeah, it's back up and running now. And that is the image policy webhook configuration. And what we've done there is we've configured the admissions configuration file to be pointing to the right cube config file we've set that implicit deny by setting the default allow to false enable the image policy uh, image policy webhook on the api server by adding that 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 image policy keyword under the hyphen hyphen enable flag and we've also added the image policy webhook configuration on the API server by adding the path to the admission configuration file. 